Today I'm out at the local range to give you guys and gals kind of a flashlight review. I don't do flashlight reviews, but on this little baby I'm gonna... Now this is the Atomic Beam uh, flashlight, tactical flashlight by Bulbhead. Um, I know, I know. There's, <laughs> there's probably better flashlights out there, but I'm a maintenance guy and I have been actually using this flashlight for quite a while now and man it is rugged and it works really really good so I'm just gonna give you some quick specs on it and then we'll wait till it gets darker and I'll show you the beam and all that good stuff so this little baby is uh, 6.5 ounces it's got an all aluminum uh, shell on it it uses just one single jumbo Cree LED that's magnified Ooh, magnified. Um, it's 5,000 lumens on high mode. Uh, it's water resistant. It uses three triple A's or one rechargeable 18650 battery. And I just got a rechargeable 18650 in there. And it works great. Uh, it has five modes. All are accessed by the tail switch, just like any of your other high-end flashlights even though this one's not considered a high-end flashlight but I mean it's better than some of the high-end flashlights I've used like the stuff from Fleer Night uh, I actually like this a lot better and like I said I'm not just sitting on my couch using this flashlight I use it at a, a, a factory and man it, it's been working great for me so it's got five modes all accessed through the single button uh, on the tail cap there you press once for a steady 5,000 lumens and then gently depress it again to cycle through the additional modes if you cycle it a second time it's half of 5,000 lumens and then you cycle it a third time and it's a quarter brightness uh, cycle it again it's a strobe light cycle it again and that's Morse code continuous uh, who uses Morse code nowadays I mean SOS <laughs> So it's got the SOS function. Um, if you pull on the head of the flashlight, that's your zoom. So you go from damn near a 90 degree beam, a full beam, to uh, a very, very tight, narrow beam. And what's funny about this is when you tighten it up, it is a square beam. Look at that. I mean, it is bright out here today, and that 5,000 lumens, so there's your SOS. There's high, there's half, there's quarter, there's strobe, and there's your SOS. But when you pull way back, the beam is actually a square beam, which is... Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting, but it works really good. I mean, like I said, this bulb head uh, Atomic Beam USA flashlight, I beat the heck out of this thing. Uh, I've used it and used it and used it. Sorry about the wind noise. It's kind of windy out here today, but I wanted to get this. So all it is is one big Cree LED bulb, and then when you pull it out, it zooms that one Cree. So you have a, a big spot, and then you pull it and it goes to a very very tight beam. Now I'm gonna let it get a little bit darker and then I'll I'll demonstrate this beam for you out at the range. Alright here we are it's dark got the atomic beam out this is the wide beam I usually say you uh, you get what you pay for but in this case it's I mean it's a $20 flashlight and man I don't I, I just love this thing so this is the wide beam out at the range and so Zoom that in, there's a zombie target. I know my cameras aren't all that good in the dark, so you just have to trust me. That's, uh, I don't know, 15 yards. And right there is the 25 yard berm. And there is the 50. And like I said, it's got a weird square beam. So there's your square beam. There's the 50 yard. There's my steel target out there. Down there is 100. So the beam kind of fades off at about a hundred yards because it's a big square beam, but that thing is bright. And so you have a high, medium, low, and then you have your strobe. 
I mean that strobe really lights some stuff up. And then you have your SOS, which does anybody use SOS anymore? I'll put it back on high beam. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, it's a Rubbermaid trash can. <laughs> you got yourself a little bit of a zombie target there. I'll put it on low. Then you open that beam up. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed the video on the atomic beam flashlight by Bulbhead. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.